how much more rain are we going to get? This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by WM Grocery, located in Heflin, Wadawi, Roanoke, and in Piedmont. From all of us at WM Grocery, Merry Christmas! Hello and welcome to East Alabama Now Local News. I'm Mike Stedham. As expected, it's a rainy evening across East Alabama tonight, with up to three inches of precipitation expected in the Anniston, Oxford, and Heflin areas. Earlier today, the National Weather Service predicted that the threat of severe weather should remain south and west of our area, but we will remain under a flash flood watch until Thursday morning. The entire region is expected to receive between two and four inches of rain overnight, with some isolated areas in danger of getting even larger amounts. Anniston Public Affairs Officer Jackson Hodges says the city is prepared to deal with the possibility of flash flooding on some area roads, and he has these safety tips for all of us to follow during heavy downpours. The first would be make sure that your storm drains are unclogged. This time of year there can be a lot of debris and leaves in the storm drains. If those drains are clogged, there will be flooding on the sides of the roads and that could lead to water on the roadway. So be sure to look around your neighborhood. If you have a storm drain right by your house, go ahead and be a good Samaritan, clear it on out and that'll help with the water. If you do come across a flooded roadway, do not try to traverse it. That is a mistake. If it looks flooded, find another way around. There is always another way around. And be sure to report your flooded roadways to either the Cowan County Sheriff's Office or the City of Anniston Police Department. There's a non-emergency line. You can find that on our website and give them a call. Hodges also has this advice on staying informed about rapidly changing weather conditions. That would be to sign up for weather alerts through our Calhoun County EMA. If you go to www.calhounema.org backslash alerts, you'll be able to sign up for their text alerts and you'll get handy dandy weather alerts texted right to your phone whenever something's happening or about to happen or if a situation changes. These are key, they're critical. It's always great to know about a dangerous situation beforehand and right to your phone because we all have one in our hands nowadays. After the rains will come colder weather with highs in the 40s and 50s and lows below freezing for the next 10 days. Because this cold air is arriving so close to the Christmas holiday, Anderson officials have decided to keep the city's warming station open for at least the next two weeks to accommodate the needs of the city's homeless population. We'll tell you all about those plans when EAN Local News continues. Twas the night before family came into my house and I could feed no one, not even my spouse. I had to think quickly, so I jumped in my car, hoping a solution would not be far. I drove in a panic, thinking my options were slim. Then a calm came over me when I remembered, oh yeah, WM. I pulled in with confidence and nary a fright, knowing deep in my heart WM would make it right. WM had it all, they had everything I need. I waltzed up and down the aisle, my cart as my steed. If something was missing or not to be found, no fear, WM employees' knowledge always is sound. Everything was gathered, my list was checked twice, and after checking out, I was shocked. Oh my gosh, what a great price. I could finally go home, my crisis averted, and a sigh of relief knowing supper would not be diverted. So if you have to feed your guest and your outlook is grim, just relax, take a deep breath, and hurry on to WM. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by Waldrop Manufacturing, metal buildings made right here in Calhoun County. From all of us here at Waldrop Manufacturing, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! The bridge at the First United Methodist Church of Anniston, which the city is using as its warming shelter for its homeless population this year, will open its doors Thursday evening at 5 and will remain open at least until the day after Christmas. While the warming station has already been used a couple of times this year, those sessions have lasted only for a few days at a time. Keeping the facility open continuously for almost two weeks presents some special challenges, according to Kyle Bryant, the associate pastor of First United Methodist Church and a member of the city's homelessness task force. 
It takes a lot of help. It takes um, our staff working um, really around the clock because it's one thing to staff it just for an evening. It's another thing to staff it for an evening and a day. So we have uh, two folks here at night and we'll have folks during the day. Um, it takes um, Diane Smith who coordinates our food working diligently to make sure that they have meals for breakfast and dinner. Um, in the During the Christmas season it's particularly challenging because um, all of our resources are not available so that may mean that we need to provide lunch and things like that too so it's a logistical challenge but it's one that's worthwhile for sure and brian says the center would welcome any volunteers who want to help out during this holiday season yeah we would love to have volunteers that just want to drop in or drop by um, and just spend some time with the folks that are here. And I know it's Christmas season, of course, and so a lot of people are always interested in doing some extra baking. So if you're interested in doing some extra baking um, and bringing some treats down here, we would certainly be happy to take them. And I'm sure our guests would love to have them. When we return, we'll tell you about an outdoor challenge for the coming year. For metal buildings in Alabama and the Southeast, Waldrop Manufacturing is your one-stop source. A Waldrop Metal Building provides the coverage and protection your investments need. They specialize in carports, RV covers, portable buildings, and storage buildings. Stop paying rent for storage. With Waldrop's price per foot, you can actually save money by buying straight from the manufacturer. Waldrop Buildings are guaranteed because Waldrop manufactures buildings with U.S. Steel right here in Calhoun County. Waldrop Manufacturing, serving the entire Southeast. Give them a call today. The Chakalaka Creek Watershed is teaming up with the 100 Alabama Miles Challenge to promote activities in the four counties covered by the watershed. Jackson Fillingham says that the program is designed to inspire area residents to lead active and healthy lifestyles while exploring the watershed's stunning and scenic watershed areas. Really it's designed just to get our community to go out and enjoy uh, nature and uh, really see all the beautiful and wonderful wonderful areas that the Chocolock Watershed has to offer. Um, we have a list of destination spots that you can hit and if you like to hike, paddle, walk, run, you name it, we have different activities for you in different areas to go um, and you can go and take a picture at the spot and log in your miles and uh, you get a chance to win a free kayak and uh, free kayak and trip or also um, some other great gear. More information about the challenge is available at 100alabamamiles.org. And coming up next, we'll have a story about how a local Brazilian jiu-jitsu school helps young kids and adults find their confidence in this week's Community Spotlight. This week's Community Spotlight is brought to you by the Joey Cruz Team, real estate leader since 2010. From everyone here at the Joey Cruz team, we'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. My name is John Madrigal. I work for the Gadsden City School Systems. I teach physical education. And in the evenings, I come to Gracie Baja Aniston and teach Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. We have classes from every day at 5 p.m. They start Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We have a preteen and teen class that starts at 5 and Tuesday, Thursday. We have five to ten uh, kids classes. Obviously kids come here and they learn jiu-jitsu, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, which is a martial art, and a lot of kids come here and they're not very confident in themselves, so even if they stay with it or they leave, one thing most kids leave here with is confidence in themselves. A lot of times with a lot of kids they'll come in, they're very quiet, and I see kids all the time, so that's not uncommon. And then they'll be here for a couple weeks training with us. And we have a big family atmosphere. Like I have one student who is, who's been with me or at our school since he's nine. He's about to be 16. And every child, like you'll see them open up and they can be real quiet to themselves and they leave here and it's like, it's like a flower that's bloomed. Also another thing, like, when you come to Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, a lot of people think you just get like the learn of self-defense or a martial art, and you really don't always get that. Like we have a family atmosphere, and a lot of uh, our students come here and become really good friends. These are some of their best friends who they hang out with, and a lot of people come here. We've had many adult students and uh, children come in and lose a lot of weight, and it's because some of them, like we had a kid 
He was 17 when he started with us. He's 22 now and he lost like 60 pounds and he just by doing jujitsu. And now he's very health conscious. He watches what he eats, he goes and he works out. So jujitsu for adults or kids, it gets them active and you get to meet new people and be among others like-minded now that you'll learn healthy habits to take with you. My name is Jules Stevens. I've been doing jiu-jitsu for about seven years now. I started when I was nine. And when I first started, there was probably only about like three or four people. And I was definitely nervous. It was a new experience, but um, I was really looking forward to it. On top of learning jiu-jitsu, I've learned how to be more confident in my ability. I've been humbled. I've uh, competed for about as long as I've done jiu-jitsu. I've been plenty of tournaments, and um, I think they're a really good experience. They're uh, good for like putting my skills to the test. I'm willing to do many things. I enjoy jiu-jitsu, and I'd like to just take as far as I can and able to. I feel like um, ever since I've been here, everybody's been welcoming. They've definitely impacted how I approach situations, how I talk to people. I've definitely opened up as a person, and overall, it's just helpful in life. I'm more confident in what I do. I'm more confident in my speech, and how generally as a person, I'm better overall. As we told you at the top of the newscast, East Alabama will remain under a flash flood advisory through Thursday morning. It will be drier and cooler for the next several days, with rain moving back into the forecast by sometime next week. Thanks for watching East Alabama Now Local News. Please keep watching and keep sharing us with your social media and stay dry.